At Cherry Hill Volvo, we offer a unique leasing option, care by Volvo. One price with so much included. After five months, the options are to remain in the current lease, upgrade, or terminate the lease. The choice is yours. Care by Volvo at Cherry Hill Volvo and you. In a world of change, one thing stays the same. Novex base rates have remained unchanged for a decade, even as people use more electric devices than ever before. Novec continues to keep rates low and reliability high. Novec holds base rates down, even as other prices climb, because you have enough change in your life. Novec, keeping life bright. Also, what you have in this country right now is you're seeing this kind of wokeness that's going on that I think people are fed up with. And one of the most woke companies today happens to be just a small mom and pop ice cream shop in Vermont. And why am I singling out this small business? All right. Well, I, I, you know, I hate to pick on a small business, especially an ice cream shop. You know, they got a few months a year to make their money. They're just struggling to get by. You know, Greg, Rich, they're struggling. Rich, please. You are a this show out of every show on the radio right now is a champion of small business champion. You 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 like to highlight restaurants and businesses that, yeah. you know, yeah, um, you know, are, are not big conglomerate corporations, you know, like, you I like mom and pop, little mom and pop places. Yeah. And I found this scoop shop in Vermont and they're making, I think a very dumb move by boycotting Israel. And, uh, I've just thought the, these two guys that own this, <laughs> this ice cream shop, Ben and Jerry, <laughs> what are they doing? Yeah. What are they doing here, these two guys? I mean, I understand sometimes small businesses make mistakes. They want to get a little attention here. But to boycott Israel, do Ben and Jerry, the two of them, think this is going to help them in any way, shape, or form? Do you think this is going to cause them to lose the gas station uh, that they that they scoop their ice cream out of? There's a lot of boycotts on them right now, and I think a lot of people are going to drive by that old gas station in Vermont <laughs> and just find a scoop somewhere else. Let me read this from the Wall Street Journal here. Ben and Jerry's Israel boycott could cost Unilever. The decision to shun the country has legal implications in many states and perhaps even at the federal level. Ben and Jerry's, the Vermont-based ice cream company that prides itself on its progressive politics, announced Monday it's canceling its license with its Israeli affiliate. The move by Ben and Jerry's, comma, a wholly owned subsidiary of global consumer products giant Unilever, amounts to a boycott of Israel. And this triggers a wave of legal and regulatory issues for the Dutch American parent company. What I love about this is Ben and Jerry's thinks it's still Ben and Jerry's. It identifies as a small mom and pop scoop shop in Vermont, but it is a wholly owned subsidiary of global giant corporation Unilever. And now Unilever is going, what the hell are you lefties doing over there? We're about to now have all kinds of ramifications from this. So Ben and Jerry's operates in Israel through a licensee. It's an Israeli company that has been with the brand for 30 years and operates one of its few foreign manufacturing facilities. Ben and Jerry's has said they will not sell ice cream in parts of Jerusalem, including the Jewish Quarter and the West Bank, much of which is controlled by the Palestinian authorities and parts of which are under Israeli civil jurisdiction. I'm reading from the Wall Street Journal. Uh, so so this is what they did. Now, they're, they're boycotting this, but Israeli law bars boycotts of Israeli citizens, Jewish or Arab, based on their location. So that made Unilever cancel the Israeli Ben and Jerry's uh, entirely because it wouldn't engage in a secondary boycott. But ready? This is my favorite part of this. Ready? Because Ben and Jerry's is a wholly owned subsidiary of Unilever. <laughs> The latter is responsible for its boycott. In the past eight years, 33 American states have passed laws that restrict government contracting or investing in companies that boycott Israeli people or businesses. These laws are modeled on similar restrictions on companies that discriminate on other grounds, such as sexual orientation. This means in about a dozen states, state employees' pension funds will be barred from investing in Unilever. In many other states, government entities will be barred from buying goods or services from Unilever. Moreover, since the 1970s, federal law has banned U.S. companies from participating in foreign boycotts of any country. If it turns out that the Palestinian Authority contacted Ben and Jerry's or its officers and asked them to boycott, 
criminal penalties would be available against Unilever. <laughs> oh, yes. Wow. Wow. Oh, yeah. And now, now you know the is, rest of what's the story. What's that? And now you yeah, know the rest of the story. Now you know the yeah. rest of the story. Yes, to quote the late, great Paul Harvey. What uh, This is written by uh, the director of the Center for Middle East and International Law at George Mason University Scalia Law School. I doubt it's a very prestigious law school. It's only named after Scalia. But uh, uh, here you go. What else does Unilever make, by the way, besides crappy, overpriced, terrible for you ice cream? <laughs> What else do they make? In, in, uh, the a soap, of, I think, right? Yeah, personal products. I mean, that's... Yeah. That's, it's a big global international conglomerate that Ben and Jerry sold out to for the tune of, I believe it was $350 million, but I may be off a couple million right there, you know? Dove, Lipton, uh, Axe Body Spray. Hellman's Mayes. A lot Mays. of good brands. Ponds, you know, the, the, uh, the face cream. Uh, ben and Jerry's, <laughs> Vaseline. Uh, it also says Briars. Is Briars a division of Ben and Jerry's or no? Vice it's versa? a whole separate ice cream company. Okay, so they own two ice cream companies. They're yeah, cornering the Why market. Why not? Yeah, Hellman's. Oh, Hellman's. Hellman's. Uh, what's that? Mayonnaise. Yeah. yeah. And and other things too. Hellman's all relish. This, all the stuff that's super good for you. <laughs> yeah. Ben and Jerry's ice cream and Hellman's. Mm. <laughs> so, so Unilever. So, the, what what amazes me here is that Ben and Jerry. I, I guess the woke lefties up in the Vermont headquarters thought this was a good idea, and uh, they thought, well, well, let's let's teach Israel a lesson. Israel said, "You're not teaching us a lesson because we don't allow boycotts." And, that, and Unilever. I want to know the guy at Unilever who got the email that Ben and Jerry's just boycotted Israel because I want or, or was Unilever in on it? Ah. I don't know. I mean, the, Ben and Jerry's is allowed to do their own thing. I guess as part of the agreement with Unilever, they still run it like it's a couple of hippies at a gas station. <laughs> but I would imagine somebody over there was smart enough to let corporate know, hey, we're about to boycott parts of Israel. I would think, right? Yeah. So now the question is, for those of you who are offended by this and are deciding that you're no longer going to patronize Ben and Jerry's, what about all the other Unilever products? That they make. Yeah. <clears throat> That's my question. I hate Ben and Jerry's, and I'll tell you why. They put liquid sugar in their ice cream. That it's the equivalent of putting like cocaine in your ice cream. You know, it's so bad for you, so that liquid you. sugar. So bad for you. It's like honestly, it's like the worst thing you can ever yep. it triggers blood your blood sugar goes up to about I mean, Dawn, you make better make sure your son never goes near that with his no, diabetes. I don't. Yeah. Liquid I sugar. Find a local ice cream shop in your town or down to the sh down the shore, and just stop eating Ben and Jerry's. Yeah, I, well, you know, let me give a shout out. There's a little ice cream shop in uh, in Riverton, New Jersey, called Nelly Bly's, and they do Briars ice cream. And back when Briars was a sponsor of the show, I popped in there one day to say Bassett, hello. And they're Bassett, nicest Bassett, people. Bassett. Bassett. What I say? Briars. Oh, you know, ba Bassett. Yeah. yeah, Bill got Briars in my head. Thanks, yeah. Bill. Ba <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> we America's knew what oldest you meant. ice cream, which started at Reverend Terminal Market. You know, Bassett used to scoop shop. Anyway, Joe, uh, as the owner there, and his wife, Jeannie, and they're, uh, they're fans of the show. So uh, go in and say hello to them. They're a nice little mom and pop shop. Not sold out to Unilever. I'm sure Joe would like to. Yeah, for three hundred thirty million I mean, dollars, who wouldn't? Who wouldn't? But, but also, don't you know. don't don't claim you're a socialist or whatever Ben Cohen claims he is. Yeah. I don't know Jerry's politics. I'm sure they're the same as Ben's, but Ben is the uh, yeah. Ben is the outspoken one, and he claims to be a socialist. But you know, took a huge payout for uh, for selling out there. <laughs> Must be nice to be a one percenter, right? <laughs> yes. Must be nice. Talk Radio Twelve Ten WP. Cox Panoramic Wi-Fi Advanced Security protects your connected devices, helps you avoid sketchy sites, and sends real-time alerts, so you're in the know. Learn more at cox.com slash pano. Restrictions apply. Copyright 2020 Cox Communications, Inc. All rights reserved.